I got this right, the elves are consuming amber, and Lysril is turning them into fanatical slaves. Exactly the kind of shitty side effect that I've seen before, and that I'd like to get rid of. The alliance with the dwarves has allowed Lysril to obtain the amber that she's using to subdue my people. Breaking that fragile union will free them and prevent Lysril from getting her hands on you again. All right, you got my attention. Keep talking. The dwarf ambassador is still in Korangar. Let's make it look as though Maolag was his assassin. I noticed that she carries a very nice dagger on her belt. <laughs> the sacred dagger. Perfect. You should find it in her personal quarters. Once I borrow it, I'll stick it in the Dwarf Ambassador's back without being seen. What's your role in the story, partner? My job is to get information about the exact location of the reserves of Amber. I still have some contacts in Korangar. for the dancing. The High Priestess Lyseral asks if the dagger is safe. It is. It was. Why this question? The young. They didn't find the goblin. Liarch! Malak is pissed, but not pissed enough. Kakapaka, uh, Mukapupia, whatever. The priestess with the stupid name. She must have gone to the dome. I gotta get hold of her pendant to open the door leading to that dagger. And this is another mission where I can't afford being detected. Did you hear that? to us all. We have had to terminate the mortal lives of many amongst us. We bow to your honorable decision, Mother Superior. It is for the common good. We must pray for all these souls, so that they return purified. We shall have the honor of escorting you, Priestess Maolak. These two guards are all over her ass. Well, she's got to take a piss sometime. I just need to follow them quietly until I can get her alone.
A shard of pure quartz. Hmm. Stealing it won't be simple, and getting out with it even less so. Perfect, because victory without risk is like bread without butter, and I like a little butter. It was just a shadow. Too much ale last night. Would that thou grant strength and agility to our bodies, purify our hearts, and may our pain atone for our misdeeds. Let not our hands tremble, our bones, our bodies, our hearts, our hands are your bodies, our hearts. Our hands are yours. Glory to Lysril, our light in the darkness, who protects us from impurity. Would that thou grant strength and agility to our bodies, purify our hearts, and may our pain atone for our misdeeds. Let not our hands tremble when we slay our foes. Our bodies, our hearts, our hands are... Our bodies, our hearts, our hands are yours. Glory to Lysril, our light in the darkness, who protects us from impurity. Would that thou grant that strength shadow? and agility to our bodies, purify our hearts, and may our pain atone for our misdeeds. 
Let not our hands tremble when we slay our foes. Our bodies, our hearts, our hands Nothing. are yours. Glory to Lysril, our light in the darkness, who protects us from impurity. said. Yeah, too easy. Well, well, if it isn't that 
bastard, Aaron. I never got a chance to finish what I started with him. This time, I do it right. is tremendous. With power like this, the eradication of the goblins will be a mere formality. Even if I have to kill them all myself, I'll find that damn Styx, the one who scarred my face. He will pay a thousandfold for the suffering, and he will pay a thousandfold for the suffering and humiliation he inflicted on my line by destroying Akinash. Finally dead, but it still leaves a taste of unfinished business. I'll piss on your grave, and I'll dig you up and kill you again. Then I'll piss on your grave again. After that, I hope never to have to even smell another member of your degenerate family. Then again, they never did anything to me. But that don't matter. But father, that elf insulted us. That wasn't a good reason to smash his bones. His death was more merciful than he deserved. Wow, this guy's all heart. I'd rather kiss a dwarf's ass than hang out with that huge freaking psycho. Hawkeye, your anger will be our doom. I just gotta find this dwarf diplomat, get rid of him, and the highlight of the show, make it look like Malak killed him. And all that with no witnesses and without triggering alarms. You got that? Target acquired. I'll have to get him alone. I'll 
will never get to him as long as he's flanked by his two drunken guards. Mm. As an ambassador, he must receive messages every day. There should be a way to slip one in of my own creation that will convince him to come out alone. An indecent proposal he can't refuse. Quartz. Knock down price, for example. These dwarfs get so bored. The embassy. This is where the dwarf diplomat is housed. Place seems well guarded. <clears throat> Won't be the doing this every day. Dwarfs is unbearable. Raising all these it's an to their harmony. They're all <clears throat> The ambassador's office must be around here somewhere. If they don't leave soon, no, that blood will flow. There are many Kestis. Welcome to the office of Ambassador Nostrilus Max. Well, I just gotta drop off my enticing message and wait for the fish to bite. Look sharp! There's a bad one for loose! <laughs> downstairs.
All that's left to complete my job is to accidentally let Maolak's dagger fall. Oops. The dwarfs will think it's these treacherous dark elves that did it. <laughs> well, well, what's this drawing in his pocket? Some kind of machine. Damn, it's written in dwarvish. Okay, better get out of here. Maybe Jarak will know what it's all about.